in the game. As you can imagine, I get fragrance recommendations on the daily, but shortly after I did my first impressions of a YSL baby cat interpretation, homie over on Instagram, Damien, shout out to you, said that this particular baby cat clone is the fire of the fire. If I recall correctly, he was even like, yo, this is one of the craziest gourmand fragrances you're gonna encounter. So of course I had to jump in and get this Paris Corner clone, which is called Rafaquat, or Rafakat, which apparently is an Yves Saint Laurent baby cat clone, which I have very limited experience in, but that interpretation that I got initially, mm. so let's unbox this puppy and see if we discovered a new clone that's a banger. Throw my fucking music so we can check out Rifakat. Bless you. Bless you more to my beautiful people. No, but it's just your boy, C3, to the B to the A. Let's unbox this joint. As you can imagine, the amount of recommendations that I get, if I followed every recommendation, I'd be broke daily. But the truth is, I've been so in deep with the niche fragrances in the past couple of months that I've forgotten my core, which is cheap, balling on a budget scent profiles, clones, and even some designer fragrances. So I'm trying to tap back into that corner, as there are some that are catching my attention and the audience is really interested interested on them based on the algorithm. So as a entertainer, I gotta give y'all what y'all want, especially if it helps me save some bread. The cheaper the better. So the fun part about this particular fragrance is that the notes are listed on the back and it just helps me save some time in looking them up. So in this one it says top notes are LME pink pepper, black pepper, heart notes are saffron or labdanum, and base is vanilla and cedar wood. Baby cats, I do have a full bottle on the way and I will do an interpretation of that joint coming soon. This is a very nice clean presentation. Very nice looking, chunky bottle, almost looks like a heavy duty shot glass. This is an unusual size of 85 ml, who does that? And it also has the notes listed on the back, so that absolutely helps. Now this was available at Frag Bar, it's around 50 bucks. And again, with me not exactly knowing what baby cat smells like, I'm gonna be judging this not as a one-to-one -one clone of a baby cat, more so as an individual fragrance. When I have my full bottle of baby cat, then I'll be able to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm more so judging this joint on its own individuality rather than it being a clone of some sort. That is beautiful. Rich, dark, vanilla, gingery. You get the LME one million percent. It's got a gorgeous smokiness. It's got full body essence. This shit is just puffing in the air right now and the smile is coming out so this is definitely up my alley. Oh, that vanilla. You saw the goose pimples, my guy. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Double goose pimples. Yeah, 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 yep, yep, yeah, buddy. Beautiful balance of pepper. It feels like I just toasted some vanilla beans in my smoker. You get that woody, smoky essence, this incense vibe across the body, this beautiful, rich, very deep, syrupy vanilla essence just thrown the peppers right on top. And if you guys know anything about smoking or barbecue or putting a brisket, pepper and smoke go together like arroz con frijoles. The shit is a match made in heaven. This joint is a fucking delicacy, fam. This is very good, extraordinarily good. Absolute niche quality and smells spectacular. Talk about instant, like I love this scent, 1000%. That is phenomenal. And at this point, it doesn't smell weak off the skin either. It feels like it has a nice scent cloud around it. I don't know how long it lasts. Clearly it's a first impression, but the scent cloud, the sillage seems to be a-okay. Let me pop this on the skin real quick. I just want to get an up close nasal sniff of this joint. Unusual. Now that's a surprising element. The elemi, I'm assuming, comes off a little gingery and fresher off the skin, which is different from what I'm smelling in the air or on like this area. Not here or here so much, but right here. I'm getting a lot of freshness and nice. Maybe it's a little bit of the elemi and the pepper component because there is an element of freshness in pepper, not just all spice. Definitely a fall and winter scent, but could be a little bit versatile, could be a little bit. I love this. I don't even got to get too deep into this shit. Damien, this was definitely a fantastic recommendation. I don't need to say anything more. This is a full ball spray, 100%. Once I get the YSL baby cat, then I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. But if it does smell like this, you might not even need to spend that bread on the YSL baby cat if this has that same essence. This has a lot of character, a lot of body, a lot of presentation, an amazing first impression. Definitely right up my alley. I don't know if it's up yours. Hey, my man, make seven up yours. Make seven up yours. Same. 
it to you. Cause we may not have the same taste, but for me, absolutely a ball spray. For 50 bucks? Oh, fuck. This is full sexy vibe. I'm gonna get yelled at. I sprayed a little too crazy to just be chilling in the house today and we might Netflix and chill later. So hopefully it'll help me get butt, but most likely gonna get yelled at. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Have you smelled this fragrance before in any other Paris corners that have this kind of quality? Leave it in the comments below. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooches. <laughs>